welcome back to another Misfit Makers Besties tutorial. This week we have a really fun one and I had to do an intro on this because I wanted to kind of explain my backstory on how I came up with this idea. So this week we are doing the Bricks and Inks Tumbler. Super gorgeous. I love this design. I had so much fun with it. Um, I, so let me, so let me tell you the backstory. So I made the inks and brick tumbler and I had all the inks and the bricks on there and I showed a friend of mine and she was like, Oh, that looks like so-and-so's tumbler. Right. And I was like, who is that? So I look up this girl's tumbler and I will post her name below uh, because I cannot think of it off the top of my head. I'm sorry, but she was like, it looks similar to her cup. And I've been thinking about a bricks design. Jerry and I, we've, we've had this design in our minds for a while now. If you haven't seen Jerry's Bricks and Inks Tumblr, make sure you check hers out because you know we do like different twists for both of ours. Um, but anyway, so fast forward, I showed my girlfriend. She was like, it looks like so-and-so's Tumblr. And I was like, well, I have to go check this out. Sure enough, I looked at her Tumblr and it's very similar. Same concept, same idea bricks, inks, her work is gorgeous and it's called the unbreakable tumbler. And I was like, okay, well, two things right here, guys. It's okay. That goes to show you that tumbler makers can come up with the same ideas. And like, I didn't know her and I'm sure she doesn't know me. And look, we had, we had the same idea, same concept, and that is okay. But after knowing that after seeing her work, I wanted to put a, I didn't want to put unbreakable. Now I loved it. Unbreakable with the Brit, like girl, you nailed it. Love your concept. But I wanted to come up with something different, like a spin on it. Right? So instead of unbreakable, I put all positive words on this tumbler, all positive words. Um, because you are, you're strong, you're strong like bricks, right? So the words on here I have are worthy, limitless, talented, unique, vibrant, beautiful, successful, strong, right? Because that's what you besties are. You guys are all of this and more. So thank you for, um, the creator of the unbreakable. Thank you for helping me with the words and turning this into, um, or come helping me come up with what decals to put on this Tumblr and for everybody else out there. It's okay guys. It's okay. Don't get discouraged if you see if you have an idea in your head and you see another creator post it and you're like dang it like that's exactly what I was going to do or this person didn't give me credit for my cup or anything like that. They might not have known. That's okay. Creators come up with the same designs and that is okay. Okay, so enough chit chat enough. I'm just gabbing. Okay. If you guys want to learn how to make these, watch the tutorial below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and thank you guys. If you would like to be a part of an amazing crafting community, make sure you're in our group Misfit Makers on Facebook. Eek! Oh my gosh, guys, I have been waiting for weeks to use these inks. You guys, look at this packaging. Oh my gosh, Jen, you killed it. Killed it. This pack of 14 inks are from Jen's Crafted Gems. She's currently out of stock, but make sure you go check out her site. I will link it down below so that way you can get notified when they are back in stock. Oh my gosh, you guys, wait until you see how vibrant and bright these colors are. Run, okay? I promise you, they are amazing. Okay, so we're going to go in with our 32 ounce prepped tumbler from Steel Magnolia. Uh, I prepped this just by spray painting it white, letting it dry for 24 hours, and now we're going to go in with our inks. So, you can use many different things to dab your ink onto your cup. This is a little dabber that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. This is a kitchen sponge. I have some a little makeup sponge over here, little uh, makeup wipe. Different things give different textures, so find the thing that you like. I personally like like the spongy textured look, so most of this video you will either see me using the kitchen sponge or the little dabber. Now, for all my money-saving babes out there, go get yourself some kitchen sponges and cut them up because those little dabbers from Hobby Lobby, they're, they're reasonable, but my thing is 
I always run out of them and then I forget that I'm out. So most of us have some kitchen sponges underneath the sink. So just, you know, grab a few, take them down to your craft room. That way you have them. Okay, so as you see, we're going for a kind of a galaxy. Uh, we're going to melt all these colors together so they're all very flowy together. That's the look. That's the vibe I want to go for, okay? So I started with some orange. You're going to want to start with some lighter colors because if you fill your entire cup up with dark colors, you cannot put light colors over dark co colors, okay? Keep that in mind. Also keep in mind, everything looks better and will blend better on the second coat. So after you get all of your inks on your tumbler and then you go in and start applying like a second coat of inks, then you'll be like, oh, okay, okay. So don't worry about the way it looks, but if you want some of those lighter colors to peek through, make sure you put those lighter colors on your first coat. So I have some pink, some orange, yellow, blue. I kind of wanted all the colors on there. So for the next minute or so, you're going to watch me dab all these colors on. You see right there how that, like right there where the purple and pink meet, and then right there through the orange, you see how that texture, the sponge is giving it that textured look? That's on the second coat. That's because I'm putting ink on top of ink. So don't worry, guys. It will all come together. See guys, look at it coming together. That second coat of inks, it, it really, really makes the cup pop and come together, okay? So don't judge your cup after the first layer of inks. Wait until you get that second layer on, okay? Okay, so next we're going to go in with 40 mls of Facet by CC DIY. I only am going to let my cup dry for about 15-20 minutes. As long as your inks are dry, then you are good. I also added a little bit of Nookie from Peachy Olive into my epoxy to, and then applied it to my cup, okay? This is going to give it that glitter shimmer effect. You don't have to. If you don't want glitter, totally leave the glitter out. I think glitter makes everything better, so I always add glitter. <laughs> so a little goes a long way though. Remember, the little goes a long way. So I just added a little bit on the end of my popsicle stick, dumped it into my epoxy, stirred it around, and then voila. After you get a nice even coat all the way around your tumbler, I let it spin for maybe two or three minutes and then go in with my torch and pop all of those bubbles. Okay, so I bought my brick design from Ella B. Creates. I will link her website below. And it is sized to fit whatever tumbler size you buy. So 20 ounce, 24 ounce, 30 ounce. All I did was I took that sizing and I just shrunk it down, okay? Because I wanted my bricks a lot smaller. So I just printed it or cut it twice 
and I sized them down smaller. I'm sorry, I actually um, cut it three times. And then now I'm just removing what bricks I want. And those are actually the bricks that are going to be on my tumbler. I'm using it like a stencil, okay? So you just saw me. I don't want them all to be the exact same. So like on this one, I'm only going to remove like four or five. On the other one, I wanted a large section. So however you want to do it is totally fine. And I'm sorry about my light in the right-hand corner. Like, what is that? Like... <laughs> professionals would not be doing that. <laughs> um, excuse me. Okay, so after you take out all the bricks that you don't want, we're going to cut out our sections. You see I'm doing that here. After you get them cut out, it is time to apply them on your tumbler. I am going to be using transfer tape from Vinyl Fun for Everyone. I swear by their transfer tape. It's amazing, and you can use it over and over again. I highly suggest it. All right, so after you get your stencils on your tumbler, for this next step, I will be using Tacket over and over again, my foils from Foils and Flakes, the color I'm using is Sun, and our heat gun. So first you're going to want to fill in all of your stencil with that Tacket over and over again. Try to stay in your stencil, like in the bricks, and not on the vinyl. If you get a little bit of Tacket over and over again on the vinyl, it's fine, it, it really is but you're going to, once you apply the foils, those foils are going to stick on the vinyl too. So just try and take your time and stay in the stencil. That way you're not wasting your foils. Okay, so after I put the tacket over and over again in my little brick area, I'm gonna go in with my little paintbrush and just smooth that out. You don't want any thick clumps, just like you would be using Mod Podge to glitter a cup. Same concept. You don't want it nice and thick. You just want a nice even layer. After you apply that, we are then going to heat it with our heat gun for about 30 seconds and that's just going to make it dry faster. You definitely don't need a heat gun. You could just set it aside, but it would probably take like five to ten minutes to dry and move on to the next step. So if you have a heat gun handy, I definitely recommend just hitting it with the heat gun for a few seconds and then you're good to go. Okay, here you see me just hitting it with my heat gun. Just move fast motions back and forth, back and forth. Don't sit there and burn your cup with your heat gun or anything crazy. Don't be crazy guys, okay? Just fast motions and it dries super, super fast. All right, time for the fun part. Just kidding, time for the messy part. <laughs> no, guys, seriously, it wasn't as messy as I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to have foil all over the place, but for the most part, I kept it where it needed to go. So here I'm just using a pair of tweezers. I found it to be easiest. Sometimes I use my fingers. Um, so, you know, either your fingers or your tweezers, whatever. And I'm just picking the foil up, placing it on the tacket. And then after I got a few blocks covered, I'm going to go in and rub that foil in. By doing that, not only are you making sure that it's adhering, adhering where it needs to go, but also you're knocking off any loose glitter because that you don't want your foil, not glitter. Did I say glitter like twice? Not glitter, guys, foil. You don't want your foil to be like stacked up, okay? So make sure here in a minute you'll see me. I'm just going to really rub, rub, rub that down and make sure that we are we only have one layer of foil. And the rest of the foil will fall on your paper and you can reuse it. Okay, so by saying glitter, that totally gave me an idea though, guys. You guys could totally do glitter instead of foil and I think that would be really, really cute too. Same concept, same idea. Mm giving you guys all the ideas. Okay, so after this part, 
This is really easy. After you fill in all of your bricks, you're going to want to brush off all of your loose foil and then it's time to remove your vinyl. So I would suggest getting some removable vinyl because I struggled with this. Now, I'm not going to lie. Usually I don't use removable vinyl. I just use regular vinyl when I'm doing peekaboos and stuff and I don't have any issues. I don't have sticky residue left over. It comes up fairly easy. I just never have removable vinyl in stock, so that's why I use regular vinyl. Now, I don't know if this vinyl was old because I've had this color. I just picked a color that I had a lot of and I don't use very often, so I don't know if it was just because I've had it for a long time, but <laughs> watch me struggle. See, I told you guys, struggling. <laughs> At this point, I was like, mother trucker, rabbit in a hole, stub my toe, what, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> so don't be a Jessica. Just grab yourself some removable vinyl or don't use old vinyl. <laughs> Okay, so that's what you're going to do to all of your sections. You're going to fill them all in and just repeat. Like I said, you can fill your entire cup up with bricks. You can do just one little section of bricks, however you want it to look. I really wanted that galaxy, those, those ink colors to show through. So I didn't want to take away from the inks too much, but I definitely wanted to have enough bricks on there for the effect that I wanted. Okay, so after you remove all of your vinyl, you're then going to brush off all the loose foil, and then it's time to epoxy. I did not seal it before I epoxied. I just went in with 40 mLs of CC DIY's Quick Coat, and she was dry in about two hours. Okay, so you guys definitely heard the intro of my video. So like I said, after I saw um, the lady's unbreakable tumbler, this was after I already had my inks and bricks on, I already had the design done. I was just struggling with the decal part. And I'm so glad, like I said, I'm so glad I did end up seeing her cup because with the word unbreakable gave me the idea for all of these positive words. So I printed out all of these amazing positive words, all of the words that you guys should be telling yourself every single day because every single one of you are all of those words. I printed them out with my silhouette. The font is Shoreline and I used Cricut Gold Textured Vinyl. So here I am just going to apply them in any old direction onto the tumbler. I did size them all differently. So I kind of, like I said, that's the effect that I, I wanted as well. I made some 1.2 by four, some a little smaller, some a little bigger, but that was my average size. If you have not picked yourself up some of this textured vinyl from Cricut, you need to because this stuff is amazing you can get it at hobby lobby michaels or amazon and probably only amazon because every single time i go to hobby lobby or michaels it is sold out unfortunately so order yourself some because oh my gosh i have been using it like water i use it almost on every single cup okay so since this is a textured vinyl. I will be going in with our quick coat from CC DIY and sealing all of our decals, okay? Anytime you're using glittered vinyl or textured vinyl, it is really important to seal because epoxy likes to repel those textured vinyls. So I'm just going to dip my finger into their medicine cup with our quick coat and then apply this thin coat. This bottle will last you forever because you just need a little tiny bit. Okay, after getting all of your decals sealed, I did go in with 30 mLs of CC DIY's Quick Coat Epoxy. And voila! Here we are. 
Okay, so you could totally stop right here. I could have used my regular epoxy instead of my quick coat for the final coat, and I could have been done. This cup looks gorgeous just the way it is. So remember that if you want to stop here, you totally can. We're going to do one more step, and we're going to go in with our inks one more time. Okay, I really wanted the effect of the inks being on top of the bricks and behind the bricks. Not the entire thing covered, but just little sections, okay? So I'm going to go in with just random colors. After getting some ink on top of the bricks, I did realize that I kind of liked the lighter colors instead of the darker colors. I just went in for it. I was like, Psh, here, black. <laughs> <laughs> no, I went in with dark purple, and I wish I would have went in for a lighter color first, but if that happens to you, take a lighter color and dab it on top of your darker color, or take a little bit of white and dab it on, and it'll blend out nicely, okay? Like, here I am. I'm going, I'm getting ready to use my white because I was like, holy cow, Jessica, that is dark. You just went for it, girl, okay? Uh, <laughs> but, so you're going to see me. I loved the way this turned out because you can see the bricks through the ink. And like I said, again, it just gives it that different dimension, that just really cool look. So again, you could stop at the last step. You could skip this step or you could do it. A few little tips when you're doing this, uh, when you're doing any ink tumbler, trust the process, okay? Don't be too hard on yourself. I, You can't really walk away from inks. Inks are kind of a project you have to do all while sitting, like in one step, okay? So that can be hard for people because... I always say walk away from it. Like if you're looking at it for too long, walk away from it and come back. So I will say get up and walk in the other room and come back. Now don't go walk the dog, take a shower, watch your favorite show, but you know, maybe go get a drink of water and then come back and it'll just give you a new fresh eye on the piece that you're working on, okay? I did do that a couple times with my ink tumblers because when you're staring at something for so long, it can be like, oh my gosh, this is looking horrible. But when somebody else is watching your video, they're like, oh my God, it's gorgeous because you already know, guys, we are the hardest on ourselves. All right, so when your inks are dry, when you're happy with your tumbler, let your inks dry and then go in and epoxy it for its final coat. We're going to go in with 40 mLs of epoxy for our final coat. Nice, smooth layer is what you want. So the tumbler I'm epoxying right now was actually my first one I did, and I loved how it turned out. It turned out gorgeous, but I did not record. So I was just trying different things out and stuff. And you know what? It, I'm kind of happy I didn't record it because all the more reason to make a second one. Now I have two of these gorgeous tumblers, which one of them will be gifted to one of the besties in the group. All right, guys. Well, hopefully this tutorial helped you just a little bit. If it did, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you tag us when you post your beautiful creations, hashtag MMBX. Check out our Facebook page, Misfit Makers. It's an amazing crafting group. And thank you so much to all of our besties, all of our Patreon members in our mentorship group. If you're looking for an amazing mentorship group, check ours out. I will post the link below. Thank you guys.